Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about a photo I shot probably about two years ago now. Uh, this was at a wedding reception at one of my friend's weddings. And it was a pretty tough wedding to light uh, just because it was pretty pitch dark. The only lights they had in this uh, specific ser or reception area were maybe some DJ lights and some marquee or some just very dim lights hanging on the ceiling. So um, it just didn't work for my setup. So what I did was set up four lights. Uh, this was a big hallway. I'll show you kind of how big it was in just a second. So I set up four lights. Um, these are all four Yongnuo, four um, 560s. And uh, so I had one in each corner, one here, one there. I imagine the power is probably about a quarter or maybe about half power on all four of them. And so I had them set up in the, the, these two corners, obviously, and then uh, in the very back of the room. So this is shooting back into the room, really far back. Uh, I had two more uh, shooting really high up to the ceiling because I wanted them to, I wanted them to kind of shoot through these uh, chandeliers uh, and maybe make some cool shadows. Just they're kind of like natural scrims, if anything. So if we go back to that photo, you'll be able to kind of see some cool shadows on the walls uh, over here of uh, those chandeliers from those backlights. So it's pretty cool. I always keep that in mind. Sometimes bare flash just doesn't always look good. So shooting it through something, a tree or whatever you might be using is always awesome. So in 2012, I did not have a wide angle lens for my 5D full frame camera at the time. So this was on a 40D uh, with a Rokinon eight millimeter. Uh, so that was built for crop bodies. That's why I was shooting it. Uh, so it's not the best camera, but I mean, as you can see, it's a pretty cool file. It looks pretty good for 2012 and on a 40D. Uh, uh, I'm still impressed. Again, it's yeah, it's it's not bad for a 40D. So don't ever let the camera hold you back from shooting. Um, I think I probably said that before. So let's dive right into this. Uh, settings for this were uh, ISO 640. And because it was a manual lens, it's not going to show my aperture. It probably was about 2.8 and my uh, shutter speed was 1 2 50th of a second. So let's go ahead and reset this. And it doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit dull, uh, nothing too crazy. It's, it's fairly sharp for a Rokinon lens and a uh, 40D, so it's not, it's not too bad of a file. Um, it's definitely doable, and I'm still happy with it two years uh, from taking it. So let's go ahead and start editing this. I'm gonna probably just Add a little bit of shadows, a little bit of blacks. Bump that exposure up just a smidge. Looking better. I might click this little white balance tool and maybe try to get a reading off of her dress. If you don't have a white balance card shot of the room you're shooting in, people's clothes typically always work like this guy's right here um, or the grooms. It'll get you a good, a general, a general, uh, white balance that you can kind of work off of. Obviously, if it's flash, you can go to the specific 5600 or whatever, uh, but it typically doesn't always look the best. So we'll just try that. I'm going to warm it up maybe just a smidge, maybe take a little bit of the magenta out. Okay, maybe throw some vibrance in there. Cool, cool. And I really liked this shot when I edited it. I added some tone curving, which kind of just brings up and kills those blacks, adds a little bit of that filmy film, film, film. If I turn that off, you can go ahead and see what that does to the blacks all around here. It's pretty cool. Off, on. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch anything here. Sharpening, I might just leave it where it's at. That's fine. Vignette, no, I won't touch that. Grain, I'm definitely gonna throw some grain in this photo just because I think it works for this photo. Um, yes, that works, that's cool. Good, good, good. Looking at the photo, I might just bring the exposure up a little bit more. That's looking better. Maybe throw a little bit more shadows in there. And a touch more of those blacks. Maybe one more. That works, cool, cool. So as you can see, it didn't take long uh, to work this file. And if I'm shooting, which I did, I shot this whole reception with these flashes. And I was transitioning from a 5D with a couple different lenses and then the 40D. And they both had, both had flash triggers on it. So I could just kind of run around this whole area and start shooting photos of them. And the light was very consistent and it worked uh, and it was really great. So 
Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, flashing at receptions that have bad lighting is, is it can be really awesome if you set up your lights correctly uh, because you can just kind of keep shooting the whole, the whole night and it's going to be consistent. And it's going to be beautiful uh, depending on how you set your flashes up. And I'm not, I'm not by any means saying this is beautiful, but for 2012, uh, in the style that I was shooting back then, uh, I it definitely worked for me. So, and you can also do other cool things with flashes. Once you have them up, you can do stuff like this, where you drag your shutter uh, and do some crazy shots. Uh, this was shot at 0.8 or 0.8 of a second, so almost about three quarters of a second. And uh, all you pretty much do is you open up your shutter, and once that flash goes off. Uh, you can do a twirl with your camera or something, and then any any of the lights from the DJ uh, or any of the ambient light or people's flashes or anything is going to get dragged like this into really cool uh, trails. And so it's also some fun you can do with flashes um, is you can kind of dink around and do a bunch of different experimental things. So cool, guys. I hope you liked that. That was a quick edit. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show some cool reception lighting with an old Canon 40D. Uh, so... Hope you liked it. If you did, please click the thumbs up. That lets me know that you liked it. And uh, subscribe if you have not yet. Check out the website, davidjamesvisuals.com, the Facebook, and all of that other fun jazz. I'll see you next time.